Hello children, let's continue with unit 7 part 2. Before we begin with the second part, let's recapitulate what we learnt in the previous class. Uh, the present tense of be is is, am and are and in the present tense has or have word is used. The formation of the simple present tenses, the root form or we can use even s or es in that and in negative we use do not or does not plus the root form of the verb. Now coming to the uses of simple present tense. Simple present tense is used in actions that are done as a matter of habit or actions done repeatedly. Then they are used in scientific facts and universal truths. They are also used in proverbs and sayings and they are used in the natural qualities and professional activities. Now students, let's continue the second part with present continuous tense. To begin with the present continuous definition, the present continuous is a verb tense in which the action is ongoing or still going on and hence continuous. The present continuous tense is used to talk about actions that are happening at this current moment. That is, that is happening right now. Now coming to the present continuous tense, the formation. There you can see the plus sign that means an affirmative sentence. S stands for subject. SMR, as you all know in present we use SMR. And continuous word that means verb plus ing. So here he is the subject. With singular we are using is so he is and plays the verb and we are adding ing to it so the sentence is he is playing now coming to the negative sentence formation subject plus is mr then we add not to it no or not plus verb ing form plus the object now here he is not or he isn't playing coming to the interrogatives the form goes as is, am and are depending on the subject plus the verb with the ing form. So here the sentence goes as is he playing. Now when do we use present continuous tense? It is used to describe something which is happening at the exact moment of speech. Example, Jim is watching television at the moment. Second usage. Describe an action that is taking place now but not at the exact moment of speech like John is working in London. Third, it describes an event planned in the future in an informal way like I am taking my French class on Tuesday. Next, to describe a temporary situation. Example, I am staying with a friend for a few days. The next one, to emphasize the frequency of an action. Example, that child is always crying for no good reason. And the last one, it's to describe the changing situation. Example, her health is improving by leaps and bounds. Now, where do we use simple present tense? That we use it to express a habitual action. And present continuous tense is used to express actions that is taking place at the time of speaking. Now simple present tense it's used with these forms like always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, every week, Monday, month or year, once, twice, three times a week or you can say thrice. So these words are used with simple present tense. Now moving further to the continuous tense. These words are usually used with the continuous tense. They are now, right now, at the moment, today, this week, or this month, or this year. Now here, this, these are the examples for present, simple present tense and present continuous tense. Like simple present is used with general truths, present habits, timetable events, and permanent states. And present continuous is used with actions happening now. Annoying habits that is always that it keeps on happening. Uh, future arrangements and temporary states. You can read the examples there written. Moving further to the verbs not normally used in the present continuous tenses that is given on page number 55 of your book. These verbs are also known as stative verbs. 
so there are certain verbs which are not used in the present continuous tense like you can read over there the verbs of possession i'm taking the examples there bread contains of flour water and yeast so here bread is containing won't be used because it's possessing something it's owning something that bread is having it in it it consists of it second is emotions that is like jules always hated dogs this is a correct sentence jules always been hating dogs is a wrong sentence third is the verbs of senses example do you hear music this is a correct sentence are you hearing music this is a wrong sentence next is mental state i know this story is a correct sentence i am knowing this story is a wrong sentence and the other examples uh, like this cake weighs 400 grams this is a correct sentence this cake is weighing 400 grams is a wrong sentence so here children you have learned that where we don't use present continuous tense now as you can see that's written see look hear listen usually we make mistakes with see and look and hear and listen so let's understand see and hear are non action verbs while look and listen are action verbs that means look and listen they denote some action that is being done see and hear do not involve any intention of performing an action but looking and listening now you can make out the ing form in that they are intentional activities here intentional means that's done with or for a purpose now let's understand the difference between see and look i see a burglar in mrs lee's house now that child there is narrating what he can simply see he's not doing any action there but the second child is saying come and look there's a burglar in mrs lee's house here the child is doing some action okay he's performing an action by looking at the burglar now moving further to the difference between hear and listen hear is a verb it's used to sense a sound with your ears that is simply a hearing i hear the young girl screaming that means you can simply hear it but listen is what it is a verb that is used to give attention to a sound like a doctor can listen to your heartbeat that means what that is some intentional activity that can be heard it further means that the doctor is focusing on a particular sound and listening to it now moving to the last topic here use of have when have shows possession or condition then present continuous tense is not used here example i have a car that means when you are owning something when you are possessing something then we don't use a present continuous form second is we can use have in present continuous when there are certain conditions when we refer to some arrangement for the future example here we are having a party tomorrow here are having is in the present continuous form secondly we can use in sentences where have has been used in the state of take like you are taking something you are having something example he is having his lunch second example she is having her bath with this children we have completed unit 7 verbs expressing the present form so i hope you all have understood and kindly do the remaining exercises of this unit in your books